I'll, I'll introduce myself. I come here every year, and I like it here. Because, do you know what is the best part of GIDS, Great Indian Developer Summit? Anybody want to try? Developers? Developers? Huh? Yourself? Huh? That's what it is? What is the best part? Me? Okay. Anybody else? Interacting with experts, very good. That is also talking to yourself, huh? What is it? Goodies? You collected a lot of goodies? I want to see your bag. What is in it? Not yet. What are you waiting for? Like where everybody runs away, everybody takes things away, huh? Good. Okay. Today, from after lunch, what, okay, let me tell you what is my favorite thing. Then we'll continue with the session. By that time, um, I think we'll be at 2 o'clock, so that will be the right time to start for a session, right? Okay. My favorite thing about Great Indian Developer Summit is food. I really like it. I really like gulab jambus today. Right? You, everybody had it? Yes. Yeah? With ice cream? No? Without ice cream? With ice cream? Uh -huh. What? Uh, I didn't like the ice cream though, but gulab jambu I liked it. But trust me, I didn't go a single time to take gulab jambus. The guy was serving me continuously. I was sitting next to him. So as soon as they gave me. Alright, okay. I guess we start, right? Six o'clock, uh, two o'clock? Okay, we start. So how many of you work with SQL Server? Ah, oh, nice. How many of you do not work with SQL Server? Nice. That's fine too. How many of you work with programs or, or technology which is database but not SQL Server? Huh? Oh, good, good, good crowd. Very good crowd. I really like it. That's awesome. All right, let's start. So I want to talk about performance in 60 seconds. SQL trips every database must know. Uh, every everybody must know. So. Why 60 seconds? All right, let's talk about it. Okay? So if you're going to tweet about it, here is the thing. If you tweet about it, I think there are three contests going on. Make sure you take to jig dids, which you were seeing before. It's not here now. A few seconds before we had it. Please tweet. At the end of the day, a few of the winners are going to get something. If you're going to tweet me, this is my username. All right? Everybody who wants a demo script, which I'm going to present, can get the demo script if you register over here. Okay, this is the thing. So if you want to take a photo or write it down, you can write it down. It says SQL now. Okay, just do it. And if you register it, you will, I'll be sending the script by the evening. See, I want to get, make sure that we take care of the usual conversation first. And then after, we'll talk more. Awesome, I like the camera. Very good. I even get my personal cameraman from home, just so you guys know. Here is the fun, here is the good part. I, they didn't give me a mouse pad, so I'm using book, one of my book. So if you register on this SQL now, right now, I'll check on my mobile. Before the end of the session, you'll get the book which I'm using right now as a mouse pad. It's a brand new book, by the way. I'll announce it and then leave the stage. I'll check on my phone, which is on silent. All right. Okay, good. What is it? For internet, you don't need signal. Internet is that connect directly to GIDS. It's free, without authentication. It is not available? All right, so use that signal. Okay? I know it's a phone one is not working, but connect to the local internet. And I'll give one of the guys the gifts. And I have five of the books and three of the books I'm going to give right now. All right? Okay, I call this invention. What does this cartoon tell us? Okay, so silence. After lunch is difficult. Why did they give a session after lunch? So all of you just won't react to it. How many of you have heard this statement? No one. I think I'm the first one. I think jokes are getting old. Have you ever heard this statement? How many of you have heard this statement? Yeah? Awesome. Or what are other people are doing? Are you guys registering there? Yeah. Awesome. 
Right? Hey, now I get why you are not laughing. Hey, that's a good thing. Okay, so whoever the first one will register will also get a book. How about that? So if we do not change, if we do not invent, if we do not reinvent, you know, things will never become better. So we need to make sure that we continuously change things. Well, we cannot dig the wall, dig the well, when the house is on fire. Right? Agreed? All right. There's one guy, once my, Vignesh, Vignesh here, Vignesh Murugan, ah, awesome, come here and get a gift, all right, so I already one given, one more I will give at the end of the session, okay, all right, so now I already give away the gift, so please now focus to the session, okay, now I have more, more techno, technical stuff. All right, thanks a lot, man. All right, good. No, thank you. Thanks for registering. And you will get a script and gift. And one more gift, I have it, which I'll give you before the end of the session. So don't dig a well after the house is on fire. So what you should do? What should you do in this case? Well, here is my answer. Dig a well before the house is on fire. Let's start with some of the basics. SQL Server. SQL Server has three important resources. What are, what are those three important resources? Can anybody guess? No guessing? You guys don't want to talk? Huh? Just bored? Just continue with your presentation? All right. What are the three important resources for any system? Memory, who said memory? Very good, two people. One more? Disk? Very good. That's the storage, yes. Processor? CPU? Yeah, very good. So I think we are, we are all on the same page. Three important resources. Definitely engine, SQL Server engine, that is given. So three important resources which we say, which we want to say is memory, CPU, and disk. Out of these three, which one is the most important? How many says memory? How many of you vote for memory? Right? Very good. How many for CPU? How many vote for CPU? Very, very nice. And how many for disk IO? Ah, very good. And there is one guy who is raising hand in all three of it. <laughs> no, I get it, sir. You have to pick one. That's the entire point. You, know, you can't just say pick three. You have to pick one, like when you're going in a when you're going in a highway, you're left and right. You're going to, have to pick one, right? You can't just keep on going straight. You'll hit a road. You'll hit the dead end. You have to pick one. So it's very interesting to see that some of you think memory is important. It's very important to see some of you think uh, CPU is important, and it's very interesting to see some of you believe that hard drive is very important. Definitely, all three are important, but yes, one of them is very, very important. So when we have to tune something, right? When we have to quickly tune, when we have to quickly change something, at that point of time, we only have to change the things which is the most impactful. Correct? Here is my point of view. And you can disagree with me, and disagreeing is a good thing. I think CPU is very critical. I think memory is also equally critical. But I believe a good I.O. is absolutely must for any system. I believe that memory has done significant, significant advancement in its work. Like, you know, memory, nowadays we get like DDR2, DDR3, DDR4, 64 GB, 20. OK, if you take even not, don't talk about your laptop. If you go and see a good desktop system, it will easily have 32 GB RAM, right? Think about your server where you have installed, if it is not on a cloud, but if you have installed it, you also know that you can easily have 256 RAM, GB RAM. So RAM, we made a significant advancement. Same way as a CPU, now i7, i5, i3, right? I do personally, I have two machines, i5 and i7. When I run in a loop, something, I definitely see the i7 performs better. 
But in my daily use or my servers, SQL Server, where I run with lots of transactions, we don't see much of the difference in routing transactions. It just works fine, even though it's i5 Intel or Intel i7. Because I think in, a, in terms of CPU, we have done also a good amount of the progress. But when you look at I.O., I still believe, even though we went to flash drive, we went to this hard drive, HDDs, and all these SSDs, we have not yet reached to a point where we are very happy. How many of you agree with this statement, that hard drive can use some more improvement? Huh? Good. So I think 95% of you. That's good. Remaining 5% was just checking the phone. OK, so I think the tips which I'm going to share today, most of them are going to work directly impact this particular thought process which I have. Like, how, what can you do? So, you're, because you can't change your I.O., right? If you can change it to SSD to some other one, you would go ahead and do it. I mean, what I believe is that if you have option to change hard drive, you should definitely do that and have the best one available. But think about it. It's not so easy. You can't change your even CPU. If you don't like CPU, the getting the CPU change is not just like writing an email to help desk and say, change my CPU. There will be millions of explanations sometimes you have to do if it is doing its job. But for I.O., there are a few tricks and tips which you can do in 60 seconds, which why I like to say it, which can immediately make changes to your performance. So I think we are all agree. We, we, I think I explain you my point of view with this. And now, let's see some of the demo to prove what I'm trying to tell and what are the things which we can do, right? Well, let's, we already picked one. So let's go uh, and we try to fix few things. So this is the database. It's a technical talk now. I think we already talk about other things. And it uses SQL Server. It's just a story, right? And SQL Server uses two different files to store data. Where does SQL Server store data? MDF and LDF, very true. Which one of these stores data? What does LDF stores? Log. So does log has a data or not? Then why don't we say that log also has a data in it? So it has a transactions and data. And what does MDF has then? Actual data. And LDF has a factual data. Committed data. That is also a good way to say it. I like it when you say that. Yeah, but also MDF and LDF can have uncommitted data too, if your checkpoint is not fired and still there. Just asking question. I'm just making you think. I know what you are saying. I agree with your point of view. I think we are all on the same page. It's just a way of talking. So LDF has a log and MDF has a data. So we all agree that when we do any kind of retrieval of data, we select it from MDF file, right or wrong? Yeah, correct. Very good. I think we are making a significant progress. So MDF contains almost pretty much everything which you see. So more than data also, what I was expecting, data, yes. It also stores tables, index, stored procedure, view, object, job, triggers, logins, constraints, security information, and system database. That is what LDF stores. Correct? Yeah, more than data, definitely. Yes, data is there. Yeah, I, don't, I agree with you. Along with the data, it also stores a lot of important stuff, which is critical to execute your database. I mean, without store procedure, how will you execute it, correct? You need all this thing. You, you have all this thing. But what does LDF has it? LDF has one thing, rollback information for database. It does not have a kind of real data. It does have a data, but it may not be real. Like, for example, if you take a one column and one row, if you keep on updating with one, two, three, four, five, six, then your MDF eventually will have six, but your LDF will have one, two, three, four, five, six. Which one is the factual or latest? Well, you can figure it out if you know how to read. But because LDF is a more than data, or needed data, or real data, or for ourselves data, which we want to consumable data, more than real, the word should be consumable, which we want to use it, which we want to believe into. Correct? So LDF, pretty much, we do not ever use to read for anything. 
in for retrieving data all the operations are there all the critical objects are there in mdf so personally if you ask me i would go and look at mdf as a good option or good thing to optimize well with that let me ask you a question what is more important mdf or ldf how many for mdf wow very nice we all agree i think we'll move faster how many are for ldf you guys don't count two guys in a corner huh? how many of you there in a morning's balmukund session only one guy oh he's just scratching his back sorry <laughs> really he was scratching your back i thought he raised the hand but he was doing like then he did it right you agree yeah he he said he said he's okay with it so balmukund your session at zero after my session there is a session called vinod session there i suggest you guys go there really really important vinod is going to give away five of my books today right five of my books vinod session will have five of my books after that my session is in a hall a you have to come from vinod session to my session because i'm going to give away first 60 people who walk into my session not first 60 people but some 60 people who will be there one of my book i don't know how to count first so yeah it, it, what did you say i'm a vegetarian <laughs> i don't go there so 60 people who will walk into my session will get my book how how does that sound to you guys good free just come and take my books in sql server and i will have three t-shirts also to give away in my session okay to the people who give a right answer now here is the question again so mdf is very important and ldf is equally important but i believe i agree with you guys so what is ndf first is mdf right what is second what is ndf secondary data file mdf is primary main data file ndf is secondary data file then why is not why it is not called as sdf but why ndf m and n and what is the what do we call to third file oh and after that <laughs> pdf <laughs> finally you guys laughed i've been trying from last 20 minutes this glove jambons are really <laughs> doing its own magic you eat it here and it affects here pdf very nice <laughs> here is the tricky question for you can your backup file of sql server when you take backup can what will be its extension pak can we keep the extension of backup file to pdf how many say yes how many say no very good and what about others <laughs> you database guys always there is a null i like it that's why i'm in a database like you know yes no and null how old are you null null today null not in mood doesn't work you have to answer yes no question you have to answer and i hate people who also sometimes give you yes sir what would you like to tea or coffee yes <laughs> huh, which one yes first yes second yes no no yes uh, repeat it like what were you hearing huh very good finally you guys woke up huh it took some time today let's see a scenario i'm going to do a simple scenario uh, i'm going to do a demo now and i think instead of me talking a lot how about we talk with demo okay we'll see something first demo will have a single disk and where we will store the mdf and ldf file together in scenario number 2 i will have a two disk with the same speed and in scenario number 3 i will have two disk with different speed okay so what i am planning to do in a demo i will explain you and then i will do a demo you guys will help me to do a demo i will not do a demo you will help me to do the demo and once the demo is finished you guys will help me 
to come to a conclusion and will tell me what you have seen. Just like what we were doing in a fourth or fifth standard. Right? Like our teacher always used to come without preparation on anything. As we go to the session, he will also, oh, you also used to learn what we are teaching. Okay? So same way, I have a two disk. One disk, I would like to call it a faster, and second, I am going to call it a slower. Fast and slow. Okay? One time, I will put everything on that fast database. Second time, I will put one of them in a fast, MDF on a fast disk, and LDF on a slow disk. And after that, I will reverse. And we will see what kind of output we get. And then, to do this experiment, it will take hardly 5 to 10 seconds for us. We see the demo, we understand the demo, move to a second part. Good? Very nice. So what is on the left side? What is this? Save button. Why? You guys never seen a save button like this? Floppy, everybody who said floppy are really, really, guys, you are old timers. <laughs> who knows floppy? My daughter, she is five years old. When I was preparing that, she looked at this way, said, save button and disk drive. She knew that this is a disk drive on the right, but left side is a save button for her. She never seen anything in a floppy. What is floppy? How many of you have floppy drive in your laptop? <laughs> Sir, I, I'll not make any comment. You'll complain about me. <laughs> if your laptop has a floppy drive, I don't know what should I comment on. <laughs> well, thank you for raising hand. You're being sport. What is it? Win no, you'll make a lot of money one day. I even, I even went to my home, my hometown, uh, and, I'm, and I, my mom, mom showed me a disk drive. He said, what are we going to do with this? Then I said, uh, so what is in it? I said, I can't tell you. It was old. I didn't know how to even read this thing. We had that 3.5 each. No, no, this is a small one, right? There's a big one used to come. 5.2, my mom had those ones. Because I gave her to keep it safe, because I might have important data in it. I don't know even how to retrieve in it anymore. Who, who has those drives? Nobody. All right, so let's do. Which city is this? Very good. We are going to do this test. OK? We have this where we are going to fill up. Who is that doing that noise with pen? No, there is always somebody with tick, 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 tick. Like, why? So I'm having fun. You know, developer do that all the time. Go to your desktop and do five times, six times refresh. <laughs> like, why? I said, why not? <laughs> no answer. Why do you do that refresh? Like, I. What? What do you wake up? They came up with Windows 8. They removed that option in Windows 8. Yeah, that's why they didn't do well. Without refresh, how will you use the product? <laughs> this doesn't refresh. My, my, my dad recently got me, a, I bought a new laptop for him. As soon as he opened up and said, Pinal, we got cheated, he said, why? He said, we need to upgrade it. I said, why? He said, I don't know which operating system is, I cannot use it. I upgraded him to XP, he's very happy. <laughs> it's a real story. Like, he's happy. Like, I try to, real stories, you know, we can't argue. And, my, and, and he's happy with XP, it works. Recently, I will, um, let's not talk more. I'll make few enemies. How many of you can see my code on screen? All right, very good, everybody. What? Now? Now? Three people still says no. There is an eye testing thing in the outside main hall. Go try to do the dart thing and come here back. Come on, man. If you can't read this thing, I don't know how to do that. So this is a USB drive. I just stole it from some of the vendor who are giving away. It has some stuff in it. First thing, just like any vendor will give you the USB drive, what will you do? Format it. I don't ever read what they have put in it. I don't know what kind of virus they put in, right? So I always make sure they format it. So they gave me this USB drive. Immediately I formatted it. We are going to use this. This is my slow drive. OK? What are you doing? Huh? 
dimming the lights? I see. Last time somebody did that and my slide got changed. <laughs> That's why I asked. Otherwise, I had no other intention of asking it. <laughs> hey, somebody did tick, 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 and it, my thing picked up. A slide started to change. And I'm like, what is going on? I couldn't figure it out for five minutes. That's why I said, if you're going to change the slide, I better put a slide deck because this is a code. It won't change. All right? OK, good. OK, so, so the demo is pretty simple, right? I'm going to create three. One is single file, data on faster drive, data on a slow drive. I'm going to cre create three separate databases. Clear? Or no? Yeah, yeah. Ah, OK. If not clear, then it's OK. I mean, hey, how many times I'm going to repeat the same stuff? So it's running. Disconnect. And it connected again. Oh, man. Anybody know if we can go and delete all the thing which is over here? What is it? Dude, my thing failed because a fireless thing was on. Did you guys see what happened? No? All right, I'll try again. I think something failed while I was doing this thing, wireless thing. OK, this is fine. This was expected error. I think let's start again. Let's see first what I have in my drive, D drive. Oh, it's empty. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create very first database now. Here, let me check it. Oh my god, this F5 button. Anybody get annoyed like this thing with your Windows? I mean, this SQL? They do debugging instead of? Oh. Yeah, why did they do that? You know, someday I'm going to make sure that there is a right kind of database for SQL Server uh, op operating system. So we now, OK, I'm creating very first database called single file DB, where everything is on my C drive. Do you see that? Good job. So this is, we just created one database. Now I'm going to create a separate second database on my E drive. Do you see the E drive over here? In this case, data on a faster drive. So data is on a C, and C is my SSD drive. OK? So I'm creating there. It will take some time to create. And right after that, I will put data on slow drive. Now you can see this code, right? All the guys are back? Yeah, good. Very good. So third database. After this, we are going to do a simple test. Game for it? Very good. Oh. OK. What should I do to fix it? Yeah, you guys are expert, huh? You guys are doing it. You never go and delete the original file, right? It, let it be there. Somebody created it. Might be using it. Yes? Yeah? How, how many time, how many time you blame the people before you for the mistake which you face, troubles you face? I didn't do it. It was created before I came in. Huh? How many of you do that? Be honest. All of you. Yeah. How many of you blame your manager that he asked you to do this thing and you knew it will not happen? How many of you like that? Everybody. Even I told my manager to give me a new computer. Look at that, what is happening. OK, demo ran, fine. OK, I'm going to do a very first test where I'm creating a table. Table is very small. I just created a table. And now I'm going to insert how many rows here? How many rows? How many says 1 million? You need eye test. Where did you read 1 million? The thing which I highlighted? Can't you count zeros? Whatever I will tell you, you believe it. Huh? Yeah? I, I, look at this. Count how many zeros you got. 1 lakh or 100,000. I just wanted to make sure you guys are up after those gulab jambus. Okay, so let's count, let's do a simple exercise. 
what we are going to do is that we are going to insert this much data into this table. How much data? 1 lakh rows. This is some sample data. What happens, sir? You are you're using some kind of Siri thing? Huh? Okay, what is, how long it, this query will take to execute? It will not know. Okay, so how long it took to execute this query? Huh? Hint is here. One second. How long will it take to insert this much data into this table? How long will it take to insert this much data into the table? That is a question which we are going to measure. One second. Let's try. How long? Less than one. Who said less than one? Good job, sir. Very good. I like your answer. But I am going to... Let's put insert took zero for a moment. For a moment. Zero to one, right? We know it's zero to one. Now let's do a second test. Where I am creating another similar table. And I will once again insert the same data which you are seeing over here into this table. Same data. It takes one second to retrieve. And if I take this to insert, do you guys know how long will it take? Any guesses? Any guesses? 30 to 40? Is it still running? Yeah? What is this situation? Where are we here? Come on. Where is our data right now? Where is our MDF? First drive, which is fast drive, right? Okay, it finished. Let's see how long it took. 23. Wow, long time, right? Should I put 23 here? Here is the fun part and this is where you need to guess and the person who will get a right answer will get this book. All right, okay? Tricky part comes here. You have to guess. This is very fat book written by me. <laughs> if I use fat anywhere in the word, it will be still true. This is the book written by fat me. It's still true, huh? Okay, how long, what do you guys think? How long will it take? If data was on a faster drive, it took 23 seconds. Now, I'm going to move the data on a slower drive, right? Our MDF, where my entire data is stored, is on slow drive. How many seconds will it take now? Less than 20? How many for less than 20? Wow. How many for more than 20? Wow. 50-50. One guy didn't raise hand. Oh, he's cameraman. Okay, that's fine. No, it's okay. You don't have to raise hand. All right, let's see. I can't give because everybody answered together. So let's see who wins. Okay. Remember, data is on slow drive. Let's see how long it takes. Is it one second data to retrieve? Please you put your pen away, madam. Ah, okay, good. How long it took? That's fine. One second. What really happened here? Can anybody tell me? Sir, on the first one, you're raising hand, right? Yes, sir. What happened? So, what, what, thank you very much. So, answer is, log file is created first. And that's why it took a lot of time to create the log file. And then after it was updated to MDF file. That is what exactly happened. But there are 50% of the people who had raised hand 
saying it will take over 20 seconds. What were you guys thinking? It's OK. It's good to be wrong right now. That's why you are in GIDs. Right? 50% people here gave a wrong answer. And that's good. You guys learned something. The other 50% didn't learn anything. OK, I made few, uh, to make you feel other 50%, I made feel other 50% bad. What happened here? Didn't you guys were thinking the data is important, it is on a faster drive, so it will take lesser time? But in this case, data is on a slower drive, so it will take longer time. Yeah, that was your thought process? That was my thought process too. So very good answer. I'll give you a book with the end of the session. Please come. OK? So here is the tricky question. This is what happens in an insert. But in a select, now the scenario will be changed. Right? What did you say, sir? Scenario will be opposite. Correct? Data is on a slower drive. At that time, what will happen? Retrieval will be? Do you guys agree? Let's see that very quickly. Even though we know, we should see it, right? Correct? I know it's a little bit wasting time, but we'll still do it. So in first case, let's measure how long it takes to execute this data, right? What is this case? Data is on and log is on. How long will it take to retrieve this much data? One second. Good. Wow, OK. Here. Now data is on faster drive. How long will it take? Data is on faster drive. How long will it take? Same time? It's the same place? No, sir, it is same place. So it should take same time. Here is the puzzle one. The person who is nearest to number will get another book. How about that? Good? What will happen when data is slower? And do you know how much data it is? One lakh row. How long will it take? How many for more than 10 seconds? Wow. Very good. Anybody want to give a guess? Five? Two? Eight? One? Three? Data is on slow drive. More than? Near to 50? 15? I think I need to give you my book. Do you know why? Because I didn't say anything. You're laughing. You, no, no, you can put the book to good use. There are people who can learn, right? Good thing. See, author is always happy when somebody can read the book and learn. Ready? Start counting with me. Huh? Let's start with minus one so we are up to the speed by the time zero. Huh? Because you know, sometimes people start counting after four or five. And I might not even have a seven or eight. Okay, we start with minus three. Okay, minus three. Minus two, min minus one, zero, one, two. You can count, but it's done. <laughs> I watched together. Very good. I didn't see it. Me and my wife tried to get the movie ticket, but the problem is that we want a ticket when my daughter is at school. It doesn't work out. They don't have a morning shows. OK, so I think we understood. What, I want to show you one thing. Here is the question. When you see this row, how much data do you guys think that this is? Why? OK, even though it is on a slower drive, it still was pretty fast, right? How did it retrieve data in one second? Why? First of all, do you guys all agree it was on a slower drive? Yeah? I did not cheat at you, correct? Good. Still, it retrieved the data in one second. Why? That was fast enough? That, well, how much data is this? One leg row, but. Reading speed will be higher. No filter condition? So what? It's, it has to return more data in that case. 
I didn't take top. Did I have a top? No, this is different. I did not run this. I just changed it. I ran this actually. Right? I ran this. Okay. I will run again because few people are thinking I did something else. Hey, I don't get fun when I go home tell my wife that today I cheated 400 people. She'll open up spreadsheet and say, okay, 400 penal, you did million today. That's not my hobby. One second, correct? Yeah. So this is a one leg data, one leg row, or 100,000, however you want to say. Right? Okay, here is the thing. All the answer was very, very in front of you. Look at this, this particular... Oh. What happened? What is that? No, true. I know that, sir. What happened here? Okay. That was I was saying. It hanged. I will upgrade to Windows 7. See, think about this way. If you, do you have kids? No. Yeah? Okay. You like your kids to be first in your class or eighth in a class? First, right? So my computer is like that too. Why do I have a Windows 8? He's asking me, upgrade me to 7. <laughs> Lower is better. Actually, that's what my dad says. <laughs> You're not as old as my dad. OK. Do you guys see the screen? See the read and write speed. This is the read, right? For slower drive. The slowest speed is 7 MB per second. Correct? Do you guys agree with that? So when we see this 1 lakh data, how much this data will be? How do I know? I go to... What is the name of database? Data on slow drive. Right? Data on slow drive. I open this. Here is the table. How do I know the size of table? Please, they put that pen away. Thank you. Yeah, it's tick, tick, tick. Yeah. What is the size of data? It's 3 MB. Can my slow drive deliver performance? Yes, at least 7 MB per second. Data was only 3 MB, so one second. That's it. You got the idea, right? So what did we learn here? in this demo. What did we learn? Okay, here is a serious learning. We had a good fun, right? We had a many jokes, we, we, we chatted out, we talked about things. Here is serious learning I want to give you guys. What I see is that we have a lot of nowadays, lot of SSD drives and lot of things. So one time I went to performance consulting, okay? The company has a serious issues with the performance. It has queries were running super slow, things were struggling, a lot of things were going wrong. And they said, we somehow need to get the performance up. They had a mission critical situation where they wanted better performance. And what I asked them, I said, what kind of workload you run? And it was pretty much mixed workload, okay? Nothing special, just regular workload. And read, some read, some write, some, it's like operation, right? People do booking and you deliver email and things. It was nothing special, but still their performance was extremely struggling very very bad they said we need to improve performance first thing improve performance second thing we talk about further improvements what did we what did i do simple thing i did i asked for one, one ssd drive they gave me one ssd drive and i moved the log file to ssd drive log file and suddenly the performance went started to go up immediately do you know why because there are two learning first keep your log file separate from your data file. And if you have a choice to have your data file and log file both on a faster drive, go ahead and do it. But in a larger application, still today, it's not possible that you will have all the SSD drives. How many of you put all the data and log on SSD drive? Very few people. Most of the time people think that I need to have my data on SSD drive because it's critical, but log, I even have a simple recovery mode, right? Simple logging. I even don't have my log, I don't log anything. I get this argument and they put log on any drive. Sometimes they don't change even the location of log file and it's always on a C drive, the default one. 
with the operating system. I said, why do you have it? Do you know what do I, what do I get? The answer is that it's just log file. And that's, I said, that's the reason. You need to have your log file on the best drive possible. Best possible drive is the drive you, where you want your log. Correct? She learned two things. And how long will it take to move your log file? How long? Really nothing. You see me creating database, right? When you, and you can move your log file with alter database, alter file, and move the location with move. It takes one minute, or even less than that. And it will, I'm telling you, go back and try this on your production server. And you will immediately see performance difference. I guarantee you. Any question before I go to next two demos? I still have the next 15 minutes. We are going to spend the next 15 minutes together. How many of you are tweeting about me? I'm going to check it. The person will get something. All right. I'll check it afterwards. OK. So let's see another demo. Where did it go? Here it is. So, as you can see, right? All of you can see? No? No? Better? OK. How do you create a database? How do you create a database? Who is Nagaraj Devi? You are madam? Oh, you are the one? All right. Very nice. So, here it is for you. When you get a chance, come and pick it up. All right. If you wait it, nobody will, somebody will take it. OK. She left a nice comment about session. Said, I can't see what is written on your screen. So this is how I can make her come here, and when she comes here, I'm going to just sit here. <laughs> you, take, you take care of people like that. I can be a good manager. <laughs> Correct? No? Yeah. This is what managers do. Hey, great job, man. Can you finish this by evening? No, thank you very much. You can go back. I was just quitting. Huh? You know that. Huh? That was not the comment. She said, very good session. You're the best speaker ever. And no people who are not tweeting will not get anything. Okay. No, my yeah, managers. Are, uh, that's good actually. My manager always tells me, said, "Can you get it done by tomorrow morning?" And like, yeah. Well, I guess it's eight o'clock night. I should do it by tomorrow morning. I have entire night. Okay. How do you create a database? So you create a database uh, by just writing create database. That's how you can create a database. It's that simple. How, how many of you know there are a few more things you can do with database which will give you instant performance? Which I'll show you now. Let's see that, OK? So do you see the script which I have highlighted here? Create database, correct? And instead of G, I'm going to change the G to E because my temporary drive's name is E, as you guys seen. OK, so I just created this database, which is called default DB, right? It takes some time. Because it is creating on my which drive? Slow drive, which is I, I have USB drive. Database is created. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to insert one million row in it. Okay? Okay, this time you are paying attention. So I'm inserting one million row into this. Table. Sorry, one lakh row. How long will it take? How much? 22 seconds. Huh? How did you get it? That's awesome. We'll see now. It's already 17. We are getting close to BU being right now. What happened, sir? Now, OK, 
okay, I don't know how long will it take. But it's taking too long. I think it will take less than a minute. Every time it takes a different time. Because every time I, some when, every vendor gives me different kind of drive. So, once again, I'm inserting one leg row and it's taking a lot of time. So we think like, you know, when we are inserting data, sometimes it takes so much time to insert a data. And it's very slow. So people say, but I only insert once. I only insert two times. I insert three times. It's really, I understand you are inserting once, twice, three times, or four times. But every single time you insert, there is something happens under the hood. What happens under the hood? Locking happens, this happens, other processing happens, your data his file is going to grow, and a lot of other things are going to happen. OK, finished. Yes. How long will it take now? Sir, you were right. 19 seconds. You said 22, right? Like, aaj aapne nahaya tha, yaan, nahaya tha na kal, jaisi baat hai. Something, yeah, it took one minute and uh, things. Okay. So, this is when you create a default database. You know, third-party software. You know, we, we, how many of you use third-party software in your business? Like, when the, when it runs on a SQL server. No, third-party, yeah, we use all third-party, but it runs on a SQL server. Many times we, how many of you use SharePoint? Awesome. Very good. Have you ever wondered that when you insert, update, delete sometime in a SharePoint, why things are so slow? Because of SQL Server. SharePoint is never slow. It's, it's an application. How can be an application be slow? Unless you do something bad with application, right? Some kind of loop. But most of the time, it's fault of database. And what does DBS say? It works fine for me. But this kind of situation happens. That's why. The reason you are facing this kind of situation because when you created your database, you did not put optimization in it. You need to optimize your data. And let me show you what do I mean by optimizing. When I earlier created database, I only had these two parameters. This time, I'm additionally adding two more, actually three more, parameters. First is size. Second is max size. Third is file growth. Do you guys see that? I want you guys to take photo of this one. He's already taking it, but it doesn't count. He's not going to share with us. You know that, right? How many times you went to a marriage and took a photo with some bride and groom? You hardly see that. I don't know what they do with that one. Achar karte ho photograph ka. I don't know what they do. Huh? So, do you see these three important parameters? Size, max size, and file growth. Size, max size, and file growth. If you specify appropriate value into these three parameters, you'll get better performance. Do you want to see that? How better? Should we do that? One million row again? OK. So let me just create a database. And this creating database, what happened? Can anybody tell me very quickly what went wrong? E drive. Very good. Gee, sir, that is correct. All right. OK. It will, now here now here is the interesting question how many of you think what will how long will it take for this one to query to execute one second it's not one second it's already executing for 10 seconds so this is a one time exercise if you specify three three parameters while you create your database you can also specify these parameters let me know when it is done, sir. Huh? OK? So you can also specify these three parameters after you have created database two. By just checking the database property, and there's three values, you can change it. OK, it's not going to finish, I guess. huh? OK. So after this is done, I'm going to execute the last thing, which is inserting data in it. And we will measure how long will it take. Well, when it is running, let me show you some additional file. Because I don't know how long will it take to execute. So where can you get all the scripts? 
right? So one of the person today is going to get this one more book. We will sub, we will sign up here today, and and I will send. I will be sending all my scripts today there. And it's running. Okay, done. So this is a one-time operation. Now I'm creating this optimized DB, and we will be executing this once again. One lakh rows. How long? Do, what, what do you guys think? How long will it take? It's the same amount of the data which earlier took. One minute and nineteen seconds. One minute and nineteen seconds. The same data. Now we will see how long will it take. Okay, I'm going to execute it. Start counting again with zero. Okay, zero, one, two, three. Oh, it will take long time. Will not count. Okay. Maybe it will take 10 or 15 seconds or 20 seconds. It's done. I can see here too. <laughs> it is only that one when I was standing there. How much improvement do you see? Right? Huge, right? Do you agree with or not? Yes, sir, I'm done. I know that in the last two minutes. Okay. Huge improvement. Huge, huge, huge improvement. Now people say, but I never insert one leg row. But do you insert one leg row in a day? Every single time when you insert the data, there is a locking under the hood. There are a lot of other operations that are happening. What do you need to do? You need to only change three parameters, which I demonstrated to you. And what will be the idle value of that? Well, that is a science of itself. I cannot explain you in the next one minute, because I need to leave this session uh, in one minute and make a space for another speaker. But as I said, I'll be sending the detailed explanation of that on, uh, on my, the link which you have. And also, if you want me explaining this detail, you can come to the Plural Site booth, which is right outside this, and pick up free learning, one month subscription, where I explain this in detail. Why this happens, what is the right value, how you can do it, and it's free. No charge, just, fun, just for fun. Come, take it, learn it, and forget it. No, and remember it. Apply in your business. That's what I meant. How did the forget it came? I usually forget it. You know, all the best. How many of you remember what did you study in your engineering? Zero hand. Awesome. Me too. I'm an electronics engineer. I don't use any of this thing. My electronics knowledge is now only turning on switch. I turn off two. Two. On and off. What else you do? Nothing else. Or sometimes you do dig, 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 and it works. <laughs> huh? Okay. Well, with this, we end the session. I